It's time to begin looking at the fossil record. Perhaps you've been waiting for this since week one, but finally we were ready with enough background information to begin thinking about and talking about fossils more productively. Recall that when we're analyzing a fossil, there's several things we're trying to do. First, within the individual specimen itself, we're trying to exactly understand its anatomy as in as detailed and thorough an understanding as possible. To do this, of course, we need to know something about the anatomy of our closest living relatives, ourselves and also the apes. So in week two, we went through a lot of anatomy related to human skeletal anatomy and also primate skeletal anatomy to give you a background related to that. But recall also that we're not just trying to understand the morphology as it relates or compares to humans or living primates. We're trying to test hypotheses about what were the major events in the origin of hominins, the origin of humans. In the case of the earliest hominins, as we've already discussed, much of that has to do with the origins of bipedality and reduction in canines, as these are the two features that are most commonly associated with the origins of hominins. So our goal is to go into our approach of the fossil record, go into our questioning of the fossil record, with a sense that we're trying to test hypotheses. We're trying to generate models as to why hominins emerged that produce predictions that we can actually test in the fossils that we discover out of the fossil record. In the case of the earliest hominins, what we'll be talking about today, it's interesting that this is an area that's seen a huge growth of our knowledge in the last 20 years. The fossils that we'll be talking about today Sahelanthropus, Auroran, Artipithecus, are all specimens that have only been recovered in the last 10 to 20 years and published even more recently than that. So our knowledge of these specimens is just beginning to emerge and in some cases remains incomplete. So there are open questions or hypotheses that we're not yet in a position to be able to test, although they're still interesting to think about and discuss. So let's move into the fossil record.